We're gonna have to hoist the engine. We have to take the engine off the brackets in order to take the rest of the bell housing out to get the flywheel out. And then we're gonna back the bolts out of the crankshaft. There'll be a, pot, a big puddle right in the bottom of the bell housing. Can we get more pads down there maybe? Yeah, I'll grab a couple. Yeah, we gotta make sure none goes overboard into the bilge. Yeah. It's illegal and unethical. Okay. I wonder how much this thing's gonna weigh. The flywheel's 30. The bell housing's probably similar. I think the bell housing probably weighs more. Well, it could be. It's a lot of metal. And that's a lot of weight to try and take. That's uh, We may want to think through a lever. Maybe the tiller extension, the emergency tiller. To wedge under there? Yeah. I do have this crowbar. Okay. I mean, it... I got one bolt, it's real tough, so I'm gonna tighten this top one. Okay. The bottom one, I couldn't get a good, I couldn't get it. Yeah, because you got the weight of the flywheel pushing down to try and push it against that. Mm -hmm. Oh, sometimes switching these with greasy fingers. Okay, you got that halyard? Yep. It's gonna get greasy. Do you want it on the bottom one or the top one? Um, what ha I'm afraid that if we put it on the bottom one, it'll flip the housing at you. Okay. And um, you won't be able to catch the flywheel and it'll fall out the bottom. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. You want me up above with this? Uh, we're, we're, I don't know. It doesn't really matter because it has a, it pivots on that anyway. Okay. I should tie this off because I'm not going to be able to move to help you if I've got a bunch of weight. Okay, we'll do it now if you're going to. Yep. Yeah, I, uh, I can tie it on the shack from here. I just don't want it sliding to starboard because it might uh, hit one of these uh, diesel lines. I see another loose wire back here off the engine. Jeez, just cut off. I wonder if that's one of the glow plugs. What? Hang on, I haven't worked this off. Okay, that should be good. Well, it won't flip because the brackets are there. Okay. But. I think we're good. It's coming. Pretty easy. It's out. I'm gonna make sure I got all the bolts. Oh, there's a... Oh, there's a set pin. That's why that was so easy. There's a pin to al alignment. Oh, and I didn't get all the bolts. That means the side brackets definitely have to come off. Or come loose so they can pivot. Yes. I can feel that that is actually the last bolt. Yeah, I'll pick up slack and have that too. And this line later will be a game, but... Like I said, that's what that, that pin is for. Should we get the pin before I take this bolt out? I mean, the bracket so I can get the pin? Okay, so I'll need your breaker bar set up that you had before. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get this, the port one. He's got this, this water thing, water lock in the way. 
can't get high enough over top of it. No, I just got this huge, all this tube right here, and then I got this thing. Do you think this pin hammers in or out, or is it part of the housing? Let me see if I can see anything in the manual. Well, can you can you look on that side? You might be able to see something right here, right there. Well, these ones are not we're not nearly as tight as the ones you had. Yeah, I don't know. I can't even get to this one. You need a wrench. <laughs> what the fuck? Unless we take the take it off underneath. I don't think I have 15 16 wrench. Here. This this does make this wrench look small. Okay, I got one bracket out of the way. Okay. Maybe that's enough. No, probably not. Okay, now we got these three bolts out. There's water in this. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Walk through that shit out. It leaks right there. All right, I'll have to find it when I clean up. There's that one. I couldn't find the other one. Oh, found it. Okay. <laughs> I think that center. You just hit it once, right? Real good. You try it. You can hear my groan of disappointment as I don't leave a good dent for the pilot hole. Yikes. Well, it's, you know, it's, they're broken at an angle, so it's... Yeah. One's all right. Oh, that one's skidded. Okay. Oh boy. That's backwards, isn't it? No. Oh, no. It was the first time. Now what you may have to do is try and drill a little bit perpendicular to the face. Yeah. And then once it starts, then you bring it around to I the... added it out most of the drilling. Well, they're not soft bolts. Like... Three hours later. About an eighth of the way, eighth uh, inch. You know, you may want to run that at slow speed and just see. You might cut it a bit. Notice any difference? Yeah, I think it's, it's kind of pretty good. They're, they're not hardened bolts. Three eighths. Are we trying to go all the way through? No, there's no need. No, we're that far right now. It's pretty good, I don't know. Are you probably going maybe a little further? Yeah, maybe. Now it's here. I mean, I can't imagine there's that much more bolt left. No, there's about an eighth left, I think. There's about a half inch of what I guess at the full length left in there. It must be catching on the back. Yep. So, I'll stop there. Yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get one of these out. That's what I was thinking. Good. Do we have like a little brush or something? What? Wire brush or... <laughs> Definitely not in the center. Oh, how bad. Um, yeah. Well, you'll see when you grab this, you see if it threads at all. Back in the bowels of the boat. And unfortunately, last time I wasn't recording, you guys missed the excitement of breaking off the easy out. So, you can imagine there's quite a few cuss words going on. I didn't drill it square, and I'm sure some of you saw that. But uh, yeah, the, gear, the teeth were binding. Should have been more careful when I drilled the pile hole. This one seems like it'll be good. This one was gonna be really hard to set. So we're gonna get a bolt, have the center milled, so we can have a nice pilot hole to center it. Um, this one I'm gonna try to tap out now, but I tightened it down pretty damn hard. So that's for wrap. Having the easy out break off in the crankshaft was a big deal. So the bolts might be a little bit soft, 
but the hardened steel of the Easy Out is going to be extremely difficult to remove. I try in vain to try to heat it up with a couple blow torches and try to um, tap it out and back it out, um, but that was unsuccessful. So I ended up just switching over to other projects. I tried to get the plate off, but at this point, um, yeah. And actually, I had my tooth break off the same day. It was a really bad day. My tooth broke in half an hour after that easy out broke in half. You need a cold steel chisel? You hit your head on the corner again? Yep. I almost dropped a toolbox on my foot. Hmm. I just tried it and it wasn't working. Um, so I closed this. This is connected to an air air fuel filter. And I was just pumping air, but now it's pumping the oil out and it looks pretty black. Pretty dark. supposed to be five quarts, looks like I'm going to pull four. Leaky, leaky. Oh, I forgot to tell you. What? The um, coolant is empty. So I'm going to have to look at that. Hours later. Uh, this whole plate has to come off. Bummer. Seaworthy.